today we are going to be talking about how to control DC motor using the L298N motor driver which is this one I'm going to be using a geared motor or it's a DC motor but it's geared because it's a common motor used in very many projects involving uh, robotics and other things then I'll also be using a simple wheel this one is going to be connected to the motor to the geared motor to be able to show the movement of the direction for the motor okay so we close a look at the l298n motor driver so in this case this is a doh bridge yeah it was controls two motors and from here you can see we have this output one two this side this is where you put the positive and negative terminals of the first motor and then this other side we have the negative and positive terminal of the second motor and then here this side you're going to connect this to the positive terminal of an external power supply usually from around 7 to 12 volts as the voltage usually used for this motor driver then this is the negative terminal of the ground and this side we have the output or the this output usually has 5 volts if you are going to connect to the Arduino board you will connect the output here to the 5 volts of the Arduino board now we also have these other pins here you can see this one is ENA and this is ENB with these jumpers these two pins are used to control the speed of rotation of the motor this one ENA controls the speed of rotation of motor A or the first motor and this ENB controls the speed of rotation of motor B or the second motor then we also have these other four pins here if you look close this is in one in two three and four in one and in two control the direction of rotation of motor one and then three and four control the direction of rotation of motor two i'm going to be demonstrating that here using one of these motors to show you how these pins control the rotation of the motor then another aspect you have to know here we are having this other jumper here this jumper controls the voltage going through the motor driver so as i've said you usually use a voltage of from around 7 to 12 volts so if you're using a voltage which is above 12 volts you have to remove this jumper to avoid destroying of the motor driver so now we are going to demonstrate the voltage usage of this motor driver so in this case I'm supplying the motor driver with a 9 volt battery and then we have to show the voltage over these terminals here so this is the common terminal or the ground I want to show you here so you see we're having five showing eight point five one approximately nine volts that is the voltage being supplied to the driver now here we have the five volt regulator this one so we have to see the output the output voltage for the yeah so you see the output is approximately five volts so in other words we are supplying nine volts or approximately nine volts then outputting five volts yeah so if you are going to use more than 12 volts here then you have to remove this jumper otherwise we are going to destroy this regulator we can now demonstrate how we are going to change the direction of movement of the motor using the input three and four of this motor driver because that is where this geared motor is connected so in this case 
when we apply 5 volts to one of these pins and then the other one remains at 0 volts the motor will turn in a specific direction and when we change the voltage to another pin then the direction of rotation changes so let's use an example here for example now here remember this is 5 volts here so I'm going to apply the voltage from this output to one of the input pins 3 and 4 and then we see the movement of the motor so if I apply 5 volts there you see the motor is moving that direction if I change and apply to pin 4 you see the motor moves in the opposite direction so again it moves and clockwise here clockwise so that's how we determine the direction of rotation of the motor then we say these other pins enable a and b we determine the speed of rotation but that speed of rotation is determined by the amount of voltage or the power supply to the motor driver although it's better if you do that using the software programming compared to doing it manually and that we are going to demonstrate in the coming session this is our setup according to the schematic which has been made in the freezing software so here we are having the power supply for the motor driver as you can see the positive terminal is connected here and this other negative terminal is connected to the middle terminal of the motor driver then this other terminal connected to the 5 volts of the Arduino board. So now we can have our motor here. This motor is now connected to a wheel so that it can demonstrate the movement of the wheel and the motor direction when we upload the program. We are going to use this simple Arduino program here control the speed and direction of rotation of our DC motor so we shall begin by declaring the pins of the motor driver and their corresponding pins to the board the enable pin is going to be connected to pin 3 then in 3 and in 4 are going to be connected to pin 5 and 6 of the Arduino board you should take note that the enable pin should always be connected to an Arduino PWM pin then from there we are going to set all the motor control pins as outputs then we are going to have our program divided into two functions the first function we'll call it demo one is going to turn the motor in different directions but at a fixed speed so like i've already demonstrated the direction of rotation depends on the voltage across the two pins in 3 and in 4 in the case which are controlling the motor so the speed of rotation is controlled by the enable b but in this case since our speed is going to be constant we are going to use a value between 0 and 255 in this case we are using a speed of 200 and this is the first direction then after 2 seconds we change the speed of rotation is the direction of rotation is changed by changing the voltage across these inputs here then finally we turn the motor off by making all inputs low then the next function is going to change the speed of rotation in other words we are going to begin from a specific speed of rotation then we keep on decreasing up to zero all up to when the motor stops rotating so in this case we are going to be using the for loop as illustrated here yeah so let's upload this program to our board and see how the motor is going to be controlled by this program so let's upload the program we have planned on arduino and then we see what happens so let's upload 
then we will move that side in turn direction then it's going to move full speed and then the current speed like that yeah and the process continues so that's how we control the direction and speed of the motor or the DC motor using the A298N motor driver